words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. I'm here to tell you today, Preston, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. The gospel is good news. Gospel means good news. The good news of the gospel is this. Jesus Christ came down from heaven to save a sinful world. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We are all like sheep that have gone astray. Jesus Christ is the sacrificial lamb who takes away the sin of the world. He was prophesied in the Old Testament to be the atonement for the sins of mankind. God made a promise in the first book of the Bible which is called Genesis. He made a promise that the seed that the seed of the Messiah will crush the head of the serpent because the serpent came into the Garden of Eden, into God's perfect garden, where man had a perfect relationship with a perfect, holy, righteous God, and that relationship was broken because of sin, because of disobedience. And this is the state we find ourselves in the world today. The world is fallen, my friends. You are fallen from the grace of God. And Jesus Christ came to restore you to the grace of God. Jesus Christ is the only one who will give you salvation. He will save you from your sins. He will give you peace with your Creator. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ is the only one who lived a perfect, sinless life. He is the only one who gave his life at Calvary. He is the only one to heaven. He is the only way to heaven. The only door to heaven. Jesus says, whoever enters by me shall be saved. I am the door for the sheep. The sheep hear my voice and they do not listen to a stranger's voice. Which voice are you listening to today? Is it the voice of atheism? Is it the, the voice of new ageism? What voice are you listening to? Paul the Apostle says, if, we, if anyone preaches any other gospel other than Christ crucified, let them be accursed. There is only one gospel. There is only one truth and it's found in this book. This book is the word of God. Jesus, the Bible says, Jesus says my word, God, sorry, my God says my word goes out and it never returns void. God does not abrogate his word. God does not change his mind. His word is final. He says Jesus is the final word. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is the living word. He is the bread of life. My friends, you need Jesus Christ. The whole world needs the Lord Jesus Christ. The whole world is living under the sway of the evil one. You're living under the sway of the evil one. Jesus Christ is your saviour. If you, you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and saviour. Jesus says you must be born again. Repent. Repent of your sin and come to Jesus Christ. I will tell you the good news of salvation is found in Jesus and nobody else. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is King of this city. He's King of this town. And I've come here today to proclaim the good news of the Gospel. To tell you the good news. Jesus Christ is not here to condemn you. He never came to condemn you. He came to save you, but he came to tell you that your deeds are evil and you need to repent. You need to come back to God. You need to come back to the Bible. You may walk past and laugh and say, yes, you're a Bible basher. Oh, look at that fool stood on here. But the Bible says that through the foolishness of the world, they did not know God. The foolishness of the world says there is no God. The foolishness of the world says that a man did not die on a cross. Let me tell you this, I am a fool for Christ's sake. I am a fool for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's foolish for me to stand here in the middle of Preston and tell you this. But I'm telling you this because it's the truth. <coughs> and this world needs truth. You need truth, you need hope, and you need good news. And Jesus Christ is the good news of the gospel. He is the gospel. 
My friends, do not rely on your own strength. Do not lean on your own understanding. But trust in God and he will direct your paths. If you want answers for today's problems, if you want answers for your life, then you need Jesus Christ. That is the truth. That is the truth. And I'm standing there telling you the truth. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. If you want...